Welcome back to No Nostalgia Filter. Uh, it's time to go after people died and died and people, everybody's dead, everybody. It's horrible. What are we gonna do? Everything is murder. Everything is cool, cool. when everybody's dying. So let's go to TMI Entertainment. TMI Entertainment. I hope some pity for me still remains considering my recent tone, because I'm honestly not sure where we should start, Snack. Oh. That's a good place to start. Yep. I suppose we should just ask the receptionist to point us to somebody who can answer our questions. Sounds like a plan. Uh, do you know anything about TMI Entertainment? Honestly, you do have your own mesh access. It's yet. you, you bastard! <laughs> I'm quite certain that you can handle all the casual searches you might feel like making. You wanted you wanted to handle my scheduling and shit, now you're mad that I'm asking you questions? How dare you? We hardly have the time for me to blather out every bit of exposition you desire when you could just go look it up on your own, viewers. Uh... I think he's... There you go. I'll compliment him. You just do a good job. Fair enough. That's nice. If you think it will save time, I will continue to rattle off these facts when you ask for them. Oh, look at you in an improved mood. You're all sassy. And I just ask that you keep your queers, your queers, queries, to a minimum. We don't have a whole lot of time. Did not mean that. Let me pull up the information you requested. Oh, what can you tell me about TMI Entertainment? I like how the bunny girl is like, uh, guys. Right? Oh, is that the is she a bunny? Anything? I thought she was wearing like a veil or some shit. I don't um, know. TMI Entertainment is a relatively popular celebrity and gossip news conglomerate. They own OK Today. They did a good job of transitioning from the trans traditional media models of television and news to the net-based model prevalent now, pioneered by their digital newspaper, OK Today's The Scan Line. Some might call their programs rags, but opinion on the mesh seems much more favorable than not. They stick to the mostly good-natured prime and lean away from the seedier nastiness that the paparazzi can get up to. As such, they have a positive relationship with many celebrities and regularly get exclusive scoops that keep their ratings up, despite their refusal to peddle in the darker side of the celebrity news circuit. Uh, I don't care what you're about. Got it! So let's talk to Bunny Girl here. Uh, talk. Uh-oh. Uh, welcome to TMI Entertainment Incorporated. Do you have an appointment? Uh... No, I have a story I'm about to break, and I wanted to offer TMI an opportunity to comment. Oh, um, I guess I should send you to Sympathy then. She'd be pretty mad if someone ran something without her getting a chance to comment. Go ahead and talk to her. She's on the other side of the room. Don't bother the talent, though. She hates that. <laughs> I guess this is her. And that's a news room employee. Assistant. Cute little rom. News rom. Uh, talent show host. Stern looking producer. Do, who? Who? Do I go? It should said. I'm gonna June Val. I'm gonna ask her. No, no, no. Okay. This guy. Uh, talk to no. Uh, who do I talk to? I'm, I'm, I'm scared that she's gonna get all mad at me. And I don't need a repeat of the girl with the bunny. Uh, with the other one. It's probably gonna happen. What's up? Have you been turning, tuning into the show? Uh, okay. I guess you're useless. Uh, let's talk to you. No, I just give up. Hey! What are you doing bothering my people? I thought I told Nina to cancel all my appointments for the day. I swear that girl can't find her ears with both hands, even if she does make a damn good cup of coffee. What the fuck are your glasses? <laughs> You'd think that with ears like hers, she wouldn't need such selective hearing. Are you sympathy? Nina said we should speak to you. Yes, of course I'm sympathy. Who do you think keeps the clocks running around here? I don't know. Your stylish goatee? So... <laughs> So what the hell are you doing in my stylish goatee? We've been given a lead on a story that involves one of your employees, Charlie Nova. Switching back and forth from these two voices is going to be murder. Welcome to my fucking <laughs> life with this you, playthrough. You might not have noticed, but someone has been manipulating posts going out on the net to make them more extreme against the human revolution, including articles posted by Mr. Nova. We're trying to track down the culprit, and we need to talk to Mr. Nova to hunt down further, further leads. 
You let your arm do all the talking for you. Must be one of those new interrogation modules all the fresh meat are raving about. Hmm. Look, of course I know someone's been modifying Charlie's articles. I'm in the midst of tracking them down myself. What I want to know is why I should help you snatch the scoop out from underneath me. Super hacker twist mesh net news for personal political vendetta. The clicks basically farm themselves. Oh god. This is all about journalism. Yeah. <laughs> uh Oh, what do I do? Under two. <laughs> do, do. Uh, see. Say that to the dead woman. Right. Ah, I'll go with this one. I'm willing to break the story under TMI's banner. Ha! Ah, I'm not hiring, kid. I admire, 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 admire your spirit, but I got people putting in lots of hours on this one, and I ain't gonna steal the glory from them just because you think you've got a hot dick lead. Hot lead. Plus, if you really did, you wouldn't be here begging me for my scraps. Say that's a zin. Zin? Old man, did I zin? What does Zin have to do with this? She's the one who gave us the lead to begin with. Also, she might, you know, be smelling out of windowy more recently. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god! Why would you say that? Oh. <laughs> smelling out of windowy? Oh fucking shit! He figured Mr. Nova might be next, and he wanted to get to him before they did. Throw him out of a window, that is. Holy shit! Fine, I'll let you talk to Charlie. How's that fucking eyeglass not stab him in the mouth? If someone is trying to kill people over this, I'd rather be out and done as fast as possible, even if I lose the scoop. Now, if you excuse me, there's a big shard of glass in my eye. <laughs> We're an entertainment zine, and I'm not willing to have any of my people die for this story. But that doesn't mean you get to stomp all over Charlie to get what you want. He's a pompous clown, but he's my pompous clown. Keep it civil, or I'll throw your ass out of here and figure this out on my own. Now get on it. I need to make some calls. All right, where is he? Is this him? Yeah. Talk to this guy. Fantastic. How fantastic. I just love your ROM. Not quite as stunning as mine, but still pretty grand. Very sleek, very clean. Bravo! Oh, Sympathy is doing that thing where she waves at me to hurry things up. Right down to brass tacks then, I suppose. Wait, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Charlie Nova, host of Tonight in the Stars and Stars in the Stratosphere. But you already knew that, I'm sure. I don't have a television. I'm too poor. <laughs> what can I do for you? Uh, what can you tell me about TMI? Yes, any additional information on your station would be greatly appreciated. Well, I can tell you that it's the best damn network on the planet. I confirm that 100% absolutely. We put out top-notch news and entertainment, but with real heart that our competitors just can't match. But if you really want to know about TMI, you need to know about Sympathy! It's her pride and joy, after all. Sure, she could be a little bit acerbic, 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 and sure, she calls me a poofy-haired oaf all the time, but you can really tell she cares, you know? Deep down. And I'm not sure if that throat-cutting gesture she's making is a signal to move to another topic or a threat against my physical well-being. <laughs> so, let's move on. What next? Why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Oh, you flatter me. Yes, you do. I can't imagine you've come out all this way just to get my story, have you? After all, I've already published my very own splendid autobiography, like a Nova. But I suppose I could give you a quick rundown, even if sympathy is giving me the stink eye, made of glass. <laughs> I grew up here on the mean streets of Neo San Francisco. <laughs> but my jocular nature and striking countenance got me scouted for a few small product advertisements. 
<laughs> and the rest is history. Now I'm the host of the largest celebrity news show on the mesh, and I couldn't be happier. Until you get killed. It's all thanks to my fans, though. They're the ones who count. Have you heard that your stories are getting altered once they get posted to the mesh? It may have come up in the last lunch meeting we had, but Sympathy assured me that it was some kind of technical glitch, and our support people were on top of it. They're top-notch, the absolute best money can buy. So I don't think there's anything more to say on the subject. Mm hmm. You're telling me that you don't know anything at all? I'm not quite sure what you're insinuating, but I don't, I don't think I like it. I'm a pillar of this community, and I care deeply about our reports getting to the viewer the way they're intended. I assure you that sympathy is on top of the situation, and with that, I will have to bid you a good day, sir or madam. Alright, that's enough. Charlie has a show to get ready for, and I can't have you wasting any more of his time. He's told you everything he's going to, so get the hell out of here. Find anything more interesting than what you've got, come back and see me again. Directly. In my glass eye. Aw, oh, man, she looks really cheesed off now. Do you know how snippy she could get? <laughs> I better get her coffee ready. Maybe that'll calm her down. We're very sorry if we made your day more difficult. I am also here. <laughs> Even though I'm not voice acting anything. <laughs> Perhaps I could take the coffee over to Sympathy, and we could try to smooth her rumpled feathers. Uh, yeah, sure, okay. Sure, I mean, what's the word? Oh, God, no, on second thought. It'll only take a minute. All right, but she takes it with plenty of milk. Spoiled milk? <laughs> oh, God, if you still had the spoiled milk... Oh, God. You could have put the spoiled milk in it. I'm sad, I can't. Oh, you do! Super spoiled milk! Should I put it in? Do you want to do it? No, 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 no. <laughs> I kinda wanna do it. If it is a spoiled milk, do it! You did it! <laughs> okay, let's look at this and make it <laughs> oh, Now the spoiled milk is definitely removed from our items. I thought I told you to beat it! Are you okay? Uh, we... <laughs> this is happening. This is happening. Just... Our entire life has led up to this. <laughs> we just... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so excited. We just wanted to bring you your coffee and make sure there were no hard feelings. Ha! I'm not petty enough to hold a grudge just because you think you're leaning on Charlie a little harder than I'd like. Sometimes I think the product he uses on his hair seeps into his brain. But I got a business to run and you're fuck muck bucking it up. Ugh, my stomach is killing me. Maybe those egg rolls I had earlier. I'm heading to the can and you're heading to the street. Oh, I was hoping he was going to poo himself. Oh, well, here you go. Well, is he dying? I, she did. She pooed herself. Yeah, so now I can't. Now she doesn't want to stop. Did you want a signed photo? Oh, I'm sad that the spoiled milk didn't get a more immediate, horrible reaction. There are apparently a bunch of different places you could have used the spoiled milk, which is kind of funny. Look, Charles, we're just trying to get to the bottom of this. It's Charlie. Charlie Nova. And honestly, I'd absolutely love to help you out. Really, I just don't have the information you're looking for. I'm sure Chuck. you're back. <laughs> What? Chuck, because he Chuck. said Charles, now he's saying Chuck. Chuck, I'm sure you're better informed than that, right? You're at the top of this heap, yeah? It's Charlie, and of course, I'm the leading man around this here. This guy fucking reminds me of Zap Brannigan. <laughs> Doesn't he? I have a very sexy disorder. <laughs> what do I call it, Gip? Sex Lexia. <laughs> Who has said otherwise? I'm not quite certain what you think it is that I don't know, but I assure you, I know it. I know everything. You won't be able to trip me up that easily. Ha ha. Uh, oh, they... so someone has already ended up in a hospital over this chip. Yeah, let's scare him. Someone's already ended up in a hospital over this chip. Do you want to be next? Do you want to be the one that I kill? I mean, I mean, somebody else gets to before I do. <coughs> it's Charlie. 
<laughs> and Sympathy never mentioned that. But still, she said the tech guys are on top of it, and I'm just gonna have to trust her and her explosive diarrhea. I'm not scared of some boogeyman! This isn't the first time I've dealt with something like this. Security has to throw out obsessed fans all the time. I'm made of sterner stuff than you think. This one time, there was this crazy anime girl that came in and was... <laughs> and, and it was like, was oh my god, this is so kawaii, Desiree! <laughs> Oh, ha, 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 Chaz. Uh, yeah. Zin fell from her office window over this, Chaz. <laughs> it's Charlie, damn it! I have points today. <laughs> and wait, what? Yeah, someone tried to murder Zin. And, and succeeded. Right. What on earth? I... okay. I'll tell you what I know. I didn't realize how serious this had gotten, but I'm glad to help. Those are some stinky parts of that. Oh god, dude. God! <laughs> oh Jesus! This is what happens when you feed me delicious sandwiches. Oh god, man! <laughs> oh please. Jesus. Please, they're not that bad. It smells like a sulfur bomb. <laughs> oh. And what's weird is I'm not getting out of my voice because I don't want to lose the voice, but... Ugh. Unfortunately, I really only have conjecture and the fart smell to offer you. Trust me, fart jokes are <laughs> the pinnacle of humor. Along with dick jokes. Mm. And poop jokes. Trust me, I'd love to lay down with some earth-shattering pronouncement and dazzle you with my investigative skills, but all I've got is flimsy threads at best. The thing is, all this stuff with my stories... Stuff is getting changed, making me look like I don't like the human revolution or whatever. It started after I had an upgrade made to my VR Uplink hardware. Uh-oh. What kind of upgrade? I'm addicted to VR porn. <laughs> the technically legal kind. So this is the episode of Farts and Burps. Great. Great. Fucking wonderful uh, television. <laughs> Look, I like to have a good time at a party, right? I like to fart and burp, but Sympathy keeps hammering on me for pounding back too much crash and whatnot. He's addicted to meth. Nothing illegal, but she says it makes me look like shit on camera the next day. So I went to this guy I know. Good guy. Everyone uses him. He's called Nanya. Nanya business? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, he does great work. After one simple back alley brain surgery, <laughs> bing bang boom. Oh god. I can use an app to make my VR uplink have the same effect on my brain that the stims do, without all that nasty physical side effects. I have a meth button. It could be a coincidence, though. The tech guys can't find anything wrong with my uplink, and they say the modifications check out. But that guy does a lot of work for the media people around here, so if a bunch of posts are getting changed, maybe Nanya's the weak link. Anyway, that's it. Pretty flimsy, but I'll have my ROM pass his address to your ROM, and you could go talk to him. If he'll even see you, that is. Thanks for the help. Oh, it was no problem. No problem at all. I'm quite happy to assist in any way I can. Just make sure you source me in your article, right? Maybe run a rough draft past me and I'll give you some quotes. I'm certain that'll help signal boost the story all the way to the stratosphere. Give it the old Charlie Nova bump! Anyhow, I'd really have to get back to work. That milk's not gonna spoil itself. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how long it takes to put all this together before a show. Let me know how it goes with the murderous hacker thing. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh god, I guess we should do some more investigative journalism. Yep. Next time. Next time on, on No Nostalgia yes. Filter. Let me get to the map screen here. Well, that one gave my uh, voice a workout. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Train. You got a train. I totally ended up losing the Charlie voice. We have to, we have to do, uh, we have to do uh, scales. Dick, 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 dick. We need to... Dick, 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 dick. We need to do uh, 100 voice push-ups. 100 voice squats. So on and so forth. Blah, 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 one punch man. Mm -hmm. <laughs>